This is the Tech Support Guy show for Sunday, June 9th, 2013, Freedom Pop Wireless Internet. Welcome to the Tech Support Guy show. My name is Mike Cermak, known on the site as Tech Guy. TechGuy.org is the site for tech support problems. If you have any problems with your computer, head out over there. Volunteers will uh, help you with whatever you're looking for. Uh, today with me is Dan McCarthy, as always. How are you doing today, Danny? I am neato, nifty, and keen. I am glad to hear that. And today we're going to be talking about uh, some wireless internet options from a company I've never heard of called Freedom Pop. Yes, Freedom Pop has been in the news uh, quite a bit lately. Freedom Pop offers uh, currently in production mode a uh, 4G, 3G and 4G wa- uh, Wi-Fi hotspot using obviously mobile data networks. Uh, they also offer a home broadband plan based on the same technology. But they're currently they're in the news currently because they're moving into uh, voice service. So pretty so- pretty interesting. They um, they start out with a free plan. For both of these, you had a question, Mike. Yeah, well, just to clarify, so what they are offering, they have been offering up until recently, is wireless internet, meaning the internet access comes to your house not by cable or by or by phone line as people are used to having, but wirelessly through right. cellular networks. Right, right, and and they, uh, I believe they actually are two different devices, but uh, they have two kind of modes, if you will. They have the mobile hotspot. And then they have the home uh, data plan. The, the mobile hotspot is kind of the focus of what we're talking about today. The mobile hotspot, you, you can get these from Verizon, you can get them from Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile, and so on. They're uh, basically just a, a tiny little device about the size of a phone as it, as it is right now that, has a, uh, that picks up a 3G or 4G wireless signal and acts as a wireless router. So you could set up this device at whatever whatever venue you're at, really, that can get a connection, and then be immediately connected to the internet. The yeah, that's pretty pretty awesome. And the the thing with for the Freedom Pop that makes it different from other organizations in that sense is they have a free plan, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, you buy the device from them for a little bit of nothing. I think forty bucks or something like that. And uh, and then you can connect for up to 500 megabytes a month, I think. Yeah, so the... F- which isn't much. No, it, it really isn't. So it's basically you're emailing and maybe reading your books. So you could do it like that. So the 500 meg plan is 4G only. So you need to have LTE service. So you need to be in a metropolitan area Absolutely. at this time. Right. Now, with the... Uh, with the, the free plan, at limited at 500 megs, the overage cost is two cents per megabyte in a, uh, over. So that's about double the normal rate if you're uh, with, with another carrier. So Right. And so you don't want to be streaming uh, Netflix using this. Right. And, and in fact, <laughs> <laughs> when, when you go through Freedom Pop's website, they're telling you that it's great for Facebook and email. You know, you're not going right. to do much else. But with for it. people who have that, who literally are at home, like, you know, uh, it, people who are not Internet people, who are not tech people, who don't need that much, they literally are just checking email and, and Facebook, then that'll work. Yeah. If they want to start using Skype, then maybe not. Maybe they want to look at a different plan. Agreed. Or, you know, if you're only Skyping, if you're a grandparent on a fixed income and you're Skyping with your, your grandkids once every weekend or once, uh, you know, uh, two or three times a, a month, I think you could do this. You could, you, using one of the inexpensive plans, mm-hmm. I, yeah. you could go up to uh, $20 a month and get 10 gigs free and be able to... Uh, to correspond with your kids and see your grandkids on Skype. So it's twenty dollars a month for ten gigs. Is that what it was? It's, it's actually seventeen ninety nine a month. For for how much? For for uh, I'm sorry, two gigs. Two gigs. Yes. I was going to say two that's gigs. not bad at all. Yeah. Uh, so for two gigs, and just for the sake of comparison, I was just looking at Verizon's website because I couldn't get AT and T Wireless's website to work for me. And uh, Verizon's have they have a two gigabyte plan that's thirty dollars a month. Uh, and then ten dollars per gigabyte after that, and the one we're talking about here through Freedom Pop is eighteen dollars a month, and then ten dollars a gigabyte after that. So you're going to be saving, you know, twelve dollars a month there, 
Um, the other side of it is that uh, Verizon, you get the device for free if you sign up for a two-year plan. Right. Uh, Freedom Pop is uh, is month to month. You pay forty bucks for the device, uh, and then there's no contract for Verizon. It's two hundred dollars for the device to do month to month. So that's that's a that's a big difference if you're gonna you know if you're not sure you want to go for the long term. Right. So the their home plan also they also have a home plan as as we mentioned earlier, and it's uh, uh, ten gigs. So their best plan is ten gigs a month at eight megabits per second, which isn't bad. Uh, for a casual user, and that's nineteen dollars a month or eighteen ninety nine a month with seventy cents per megabyte over. That that's uh, I'm sorry, point seven cents per megabyte over, huh? Mm-hmm. Which is which turns out to be what seven dollars a gig, yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that that's not bad, and uh, you know where where I used to live. Uh, in Pennsylvania that had very poor DSL coverage, uh, this would have actually been ideal. Would have been ideal for me. I, I had uh, I had a WiMAX uh, connection available to me from a, a local town nearby that this would have been better than what I was receiving. But with that said, 10 gigs for me, a non-casual user, I would eat that up in a weekend. I'd probably eat that up in one Friday Friday evening, you know, Fridays at my house, our family movie night, and we typically stream from uh, Amazon Prime, Netflix, or, you know, one of the other streaming video service providers, and we, we, would, we would eat that up quickly because we like our HD. Yeah. So if you were, although they say that, that that's good for, ideal for photo sharing, gaming, and video streaming. They do say that, and I think I think that uh, they may be stretching it there. Yeah, yeah, I think ten gigs would go pretty quick, um, especially at eight megabits per second. I mean, the streaming provider is going to detect a fast speed and give you uh, high quality. So, um, yeah, but it's it's real good for people on a budget who are literally you know looking at Facebook and looking at email and don't need a whole heck of a lot more than that. If they're not streaming, if they're not using you know video chat a lot then these are great plans and great options because, you know, the, the big move, you know, we talked a while ago about the, the move of cutting the, the cable and getting rid of home phone lines. People were all switching to cell phones and no one had a home phone anymore. And now this is, you know, the next step of switching and cutting off, you know, the TV as well and cutting off everything else. If you literally just need basic internet service, you know, for $18 a month, it's a. It sure beats paying Comcast a hundred dollars a month. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially <laughs> you know if that's all you're paying at Comcast. My uh, yeah. my Comcast bill is a little higher than that. Yeah, <laughs> and I was just thinking for internet only. I think it starts around there for internet right. and basic TV. Yeah. Uh, so th- th- this is a service that they offer right now, which is great if you live in a metropolitan area with a good uh, mobile connection. Uh, right. Certainly would recommend for anyone who uh, is on a fixed income, like you said. And that's the big downside for their mobile one, I think. Their nationwide 4G yeah. and 3G, their mobile device, is that it's only really going to work, as far as I can tell, if you're in one of their areas. So if you're in a you know, a major metropolitan area. Yeah, I agree. Other than that, you might be better off paying the extra 10 bucks a month and going with Verizon because they're going to have a lot wider coverage area. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the reason we're talking about Freedom Pop today is not their mobile broadband uh, services, but they're actually getting into uh, voice. So they're looking to become a carrier for voice calls. And similar to the mobile broadband, they're offering a free plan. And that free plan is uh, uh, 500 megs of 4G data, unlimited texting, and 200 voice minutes each month. That's pretty amazing. They've they've done their own market research, and they say that the average user uses around uh, 200 minutes of voice call. Now, if you need more than that, you can uh, you can go into their their unlimited plan, unlimited voice plan, and get unlimited for ten dollars a month. That is amazing. No contract. And that's unlimited voice, not unlimited data. That's correct. So uh-huh. I, I've not seen anything that uh, gives me prices on their. Unlimited data, but I believe. Let me. Or if they're even going to have an unlimited uh, data, they may just be. I recall seeing because they don't have unlimited data for the 4G and 3G. Right. Uh, you know, for their other plan, so it may just be that they're not going to do unlimited data. Right. 
they couldn't they couldn't and i wonder if that's going to be a general move we're going to see because you know in a lot of countries i'm sure you're aware as well there is no unlimited data even on home internet connections we've already seen all of the big carriers go away from unlimited data uh, with yeah. sprint we haven't really seen that at home connections though that's you know, true. Like dsl and comcast and and uh, you know all of that home connections cable and and so on are generally unlimited although they they cut your speed if you're doing too much right but uh but unlimited as far as you know number of gigabytes now you know some of them comcast specifically you know there's rumors and i think even been confirmed in some cases that there is a limit but they're huge i mean they're right they're huge limits that that you hit up against before you get a letter so anyhow but maybe this is the way it's going to go they can provide it for a lot cheaper if they limit you to a reasonable amount of of data sure so I used to use my uh, my phone for a lot of data, especially when I lived in Pennsylvania. Uh, I don't I don't find myself using it for a lot of data right now. The most that I use it for really is on my commute. You know, Pandora or Google Music, streaming the music from the cloud on my way in uh, to and from work. So I don't know that uh, this would be out of the realm of possibilities for me. So for someone who just needs a basic phone and, you know, 200 minutes is plenty for them, you got free text, they got 500 megs. I mean, that, that probably covers a lot of people. I mean, that's probably, I think so. You know what I mean? Enough phone service for a lot of people. Uh, again, if you're on a fixed income, this is perfect. So yeah. what they're doing yeah. to offer the phones out of contract, they're basically going to a lot of the sites that offer refurbished uh, phones or, you know, you sell your used phone and they buy it up. So you're probably getting uh, slightly older technology, but I don't know that the, for for the market that they're targeting that that's um, well. And for free phone service every month, I mean, I'm sure you have to pay something for the device, but for free monthly, you know, no bill, that's that's pretty incredible. Yes, absolutely. I know a lot of people who that w w would jump on that. I mean, that don't need to you know use a thousand minutes a month or need to connect to the internet much from the phone yeah they're I mean, they're, they're piggybacking off of sprint's network right now so if you have a sprint phone they're expected to roll out this voice service uh, at the end of the summer so why is sprint letting them do this uh, <laughs> <laughs> if they're using the sprint towers it seems to me <laughs> that that's going to eat up some sprint customers so i i don't know that 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 is the case the way that the, i understand they're doing this is that they're basically uh, they're not using it in a traditional uh, voice network. What they're doing is they're converting the voice signal to data, which is much smaller, I guess, much much reduced usage, much like Skype, much like Skype does. Uh, so they are paying a fee to Sprint to use their their uh, towers and service, but it's a reduced fee based on the technology that they're using to do the compression. I don't know how, yeah. how it, it wouldn't eventually buy into uh, Sprint's, uh, Sprint's uh, uh, subscriber base, but... It'll be interesting to see how this gets rolled out. Right now, it looks like the phone part of it is only available in very select areas. Yeah. And uh, and I have to wonder, of course, as it gets rolled out, are those phones only going to work in those areas? Or if you roam up to the wilderness of Pennsylvania, are you going to be able to use it at all? Or are they going to charge you, you know, a crazy per minute rate? Or how's that going to work? So there's a lot of questions yet to be answered. But it's an interesting concept and, and one that, Absolutely. you know, and the other thing we're probably going to see is other phone carriers are going to try and compete with this and offer their own really low price plans. Yeah, I, I think we are going to see at least a reduction in rates fr from this if Freedom Pop is at all successful. Uh, and, and that's yet to be determined. But I will say this, that when they uh, rolled out their mobile broadband, they saw a conversion rate from free to paying a lot faster than they anticipated uh, to the point that they were able to accelerate their uh, venture capital uh, funding and go into their next round of funding very easily because they had already converted their free customers to paying. Yeah. Yeah, I'm skeptical. I don't know. I mean, I yeah. we'll have to wait and see, but I, I'm, I'm still skeptical. I, I definitely see us revisiting this uh, <laughs> once, uh, once, once they roll it out, but I'm really interested in seeing this. Yeah, I might even sign the, up. The the thing that gets me most excited about it is the the free plans, and if they continue to offer that, I think that's a great advantage for people who don't need a lot of internet. Yeah. Um, or in the case of the phones, don't need a lot of minutes. 
Uh, for the others, I'm, I don't know. It saves you a couple of bucks, but to go with a, a, a company that isn't as well known and doesn't have as broad of a coverage area. It is a risk. I, yeah, it's a risk. Yeah. I mean, it'll be interesting to see. And competition is always good. So, yeah. you know, if it, if it makes the other carriers revisit their pricing or offer lower plans for people who don't need that much, then it, it's a good thing. Absolutely. I can tell you that I have a couple of old Sprint phones, and as soon as it's available in my network or in my area, I will uh, I'll give the free a try, the free version a try, and see what it's I'll like. I'll be real interested to hear how you make out with that. You, you should definitely do that and report back to us. Let us know what you find and what the speeds are like and how it is working with them and if there's customer service. Sure. That would be real good. All right, well, we'll revisit then. Uh, is there anything else we want to mention about them before we wrap up? I do not have anything myself. Excellent. All right, well, we'll wrap it up there. If you uh, have any comments on this, feel free to reply back below. Let us know. Go to techguy.tv. If you're listening to this recorded on your uh, on your um, podcasting device or uh, whatever, uh, you can go to techguy.tv. We have all the previous episodes there. Links to this and the coverage map and, and some articles about this company will be on there as well. And uh, also when we're recording our next show, you can go to techguy.tv, find that out, and uh, be in the live chat and live video whenever we're doing it. Thank you very much, Dan. Do uh, you have a, a, a site you want to try and plug today? Uh, you can go to linuxfile.org to find out various Linux tips and whatnot. I have been known to post even as recently as the past two or three months. So uh, check it out. Ooh, yes. All right. Yes. Breaking news. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know. Um, that's wonderful. Thank you very much, Dan. Appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time.